So starting off, I'll talk about this Mark III, right? We got the, I don't know if this was the introduction to the Mark III because didn't wasn't that one Kuma unit, unit that we seen early in the arc, was that a Mark III or was that like a different pacifista? I'm pretty sure that was like a police officer. Yeah, I remember dressed up like a police officer. Yep. Yeah, I don't think. Right, so. I don't, I don't. Yeah, so, um. Yeah, we, we get the introduction of these Mark Threes, right? We seen they got these little bubble like abilities. Uh what did you guys think of the Mark Threes? I mean, like I I'll go first. I I, I'll, I'll unless you wanna go, Angel. No, you can go. You can go? Okay. You know, cause you was about to talk, so I like I was gonna give you a chance to think, you know what I mean? But all right, so I'm I'm glad we're getting this, right? I'm glad we're getting cause with the introduction of the seraphim, it's almost like the um the the old pacifistas of of yesteryear, right? Like it's almost like they would become obsolete, but we're still seeing them in being incorporated in the story and being useful and not being irrelevant, despite them not really have any meaning anymore, right? As far as for the world government. Especially with the, the, the arrival of the Seraphim. So I'm personally glad that we're still seeing the, the older pacifista units continue to be relevant. Now, I don't know if they're going to be relevant after Egghead. Because maybe the world government, you know, after the Straw Hats leave with Vegapunk. Maybe the world government, like, destroys all the other pacifista or something. I, I don't know. You know, like, that could be a thing as well. But I'm also hoping we get more pacifista, like, the older pacifista, like, later in the series as well just to show you know like is there a mark two you know what i mean like what do the mark twos you look like you know what i mean like how strong are they you know what i'm saying like i just kind of want to see him i like to see pre-established stuff in the stories continue to be used you know like the the impact dials we got from sky the uh the uh rao shiki that that the cp9 was using Back in Ennis Lobby, which still does get used. So, you know, but I like previous stuff that was established to, con- to come back into the story. So, um, yeah, that's kind of my thoughts. What about you, Andrew? I was going to say I like them because personally, I like the Kuma pacifistas more than the Seraphim yeah. right now. Okay. I mean, to me, the Seraphim, yeah, that's it. I just like them. I really like to see. I like to see it. I like the whole bubble thing. Made me more curious on. It made me want. I, it made me curious on the limits of Vegapunk's yeah. creations. Like, what, 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 where, where does it stop? Because, like, you... we see them doing something that I don't think we've ever seen Kuma do. So, why do you think? Um, why do you think? Why do you like the the old pacifista more than the Seraphim? Uh. I don't know. It's like the time they were introduced was pretty impactful. Like it was pretty like the the way they're introduced was pretty. It had a big impact in the story. The Seraphim, the way they were introduced, also had a big impact. But I don't know. I'm just not. I'm not. I'm not that. It's like we already know, and we can get more information. I, how do I say this? I don't know how to say. It's like. I don't know. They just don't look cool to me. That's yeah. how I should say. It. Yeah, like, yeah, they don't look cool. Okay. I disagree with that, but you know that's a that's a, just a difference in opinion. But uh, yeah, you cube, you got or was you was you finished, Angel? I don't want to. Yeah. All right, cube. What about you? What, what what's up with these pacifistas? What you? Uh. So uh, I really like, I do like that we're not, we're not just putting the Seraphim, now we're going to forget about the Pacific Kumas because I would love in the flashback, it does push towards if we get, if, when we're going to get the Kumas flashback, if it's extensive, mm-hmm. then we'll get like an explanation also of how those Pacific came about because I'm the always curious if, the, yeah, the normal ones. The, like I would love to see like, even if it's quick, like the evolution of with, in Kumas life, on how those pacifier came to true, because I'm always curious about uh, his special race, 
and if it has some form, I don't think he's a Lunarian, but it has some form of connection and the operation that happened in Punk Hazard to King 30 years ago. Because mm-hmm. that, that that would have been just before the match were, were, were taken, taken by the world government, meaning yeah. that it was a prior operation. So it would have been interesting if there's some connection to it. Yeah. And the second part is, I, I actually Googled Mark III because I wanted to see if it meant something. And actually, it's a passage of the Bible where Jesus asks him, his apostle, his 12 apostles. And the idea of it is that they are they're fighting, they're healing the people and put in pushing away the demons, yeah. protect the people from the demons and pushing people away, those yeah. demons away. So, so I do, like do I do wonder on. if. Yeah, so I do wonder and maybe there's not a Mark one, Mark two, but maybe Mark three is more like there was a, the first models and maybe the Mark three, if it's a second or third model. It has also maybe that signification on what their role will be in Egghead. Well, an- another thing with that, though, uh, like Mark III, I think that's kind of, of a, I don't know, if, uh, like a callback or, or it's like, if, if you ever watch Iron Man, he names his, like, I think one of his suits is like the Mark III or the Mark, like, I think he, like the, the, the different suits he call it, like the Mark I, Mark II or whatever, so... Like, I think it's kind of a play on, like, how scientists name, like, yeah. s- certain cyborgs. and Because I, I don't think it's just exclusive to uh, Iron Man either. I think, like, I've heard the, the term Mark One or Mark Two be used when it comes to, like, robots and stuff or cyborgs or mecha suits or whatever in, like, different forms of media. So, you know, but but mm-hmm. that Bible package, that Bible passage you said kind of was interesting seeing how it was going on right now in the story. So that is pretty interesting. Um, yeah. What about the ability of this, this passive or, or go ahead. My bad Q. No, 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 no. Actually, that was my third point about the abilities. I'm going to say this, this is a big callback to the bubbles in, in the Sabaudi. Those special bubbles are made out to the, Oh, go ahead. Well, no, go, go ahead. Continue. I'll just say, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm wondering, remember back a few months ago when those information with Uderon and all those stuff about Luffy's Delta Fruit not being a special, being a special fruit, but instead of being good rubber, it was resin. Yeah. And that's what they explained in, uh, that's what they explained in the, in fake. So I do wonder if this information or resin that came out at that time, if it has some validity to maybe, it does have an implication, some of the powers. Yeah. Yeah, you, but you, but but when you said it reminds you of Sabaody, man, like that's literally what I got when he said something about bubbles. You know, like we also know Kuma does like those big bubbles as well. So, yeah, you know, I was thinking, you know, because because Kuma was at Sabaody, like when the Straw Hat split, right? Mm-hmm. So, so I was thinking if if Vega Punk had like got inspired by Sabaody to create those bubbles, because. We we know in Sabaody they use those bubbles a lot, like just for like everyday life, you know, like you could use them as like transporting, uh, like like carrying stuff. Like if you go shopping, you could sit your stuff on the bubble and carry it. So I'm thinking like, what was was Oda or was Vegapunk like inspired by Sabaody and the bubbles that are created at Sabaody to give those uh those pacifista some type of bubble ability you know and i i kind of thought was it a devil fruit of some sort you know what i mean like but i, I don't think so because one of the guys say punk made a devil a, a, a bubble invention or something unless he just assumed that punk did that right but you know what about you angel what, what you what, what do you think of the bubbles the uh bubble ability of honestly this whole time i thought i thought i thought it was just their paw i thought it was just the paw powers yeah that's what i thought but i didn't realize that it was actual bubbles i mean one of the guys said something about it being a bubble like one of the marines or the the the, the cypher pole agents Oh yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I know that, but I, I just assumed like, 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 with them saying that, but I just assumed that it was, it was still his paw ability, because you know, yeah, I can see why, well, I would see why someone would mix it up for bubble like, a normal person, but, yeah. 
I was going to ask, because I don't have the chapter in front of me. If I'm not mistaken, I, f I, f I felt like they looked more like the bubbles about it because some of the bubbles were like more like, in French it's viscous, but it's like it had more like, you know, uh, it was not like the bubbles that could just pop. It seemed like a bit more heavy, you know what I mean? Like yeah. Zabuza's uh, water ball that he puts over Kakashi in the first mission at the whirl Whirlpool uh, arc. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it did feel, and that's about it. They had bubbles like that. The bubbles I was carrying stuff were a bit more like larger and seemed like they were look look a bit more uh, liquid. And those one looks the same. That's why I do. I thought it was more like those Sabaudi ones and the pot of fruit. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think it was necessarily the Paul devil fruit because he was using like, yes, we know Kuma can make bu bubbles, but how he makes them are different than how this pacifista made it, right? Not only that, yeah. Kuma would if if it was a Paul ability, instead of using the bubble to deflect that blast, he he should have he would have just used the Paul ability, like the Paul yeah, itself. I, I, yeah. yeah, you're 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 right. I just looked back at the scene and yeah, it was a uh, it was uh, just uh it was it was just bubbles. Yeah, yeah. I didn't I didn't notice. And yeah, it's just a lot different from how Kuma does his bubble. It it kind of made me think of like Jimbei. You know how Jimbei does, like when he's exactly he he puts that water out of his, his hand, but it hangs from the hand. Like at first, that's kind of what I got, but I was like, hold on, these pacifistas probably don't know Fishman Karate, and how the liquid was in the uh, pacifista's hand, it it was standing up. Right, it was standing up versus how Jimbei just kind of hangs like a drop of water or something, you know, before it like drops. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, man, um, I didn't really like the 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 the, the Mark Threes didn't really give me like much, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really have much to uh really talk about when they talk about the Pacifista. Do you guys, did anything stand out with you guys when it comes to? These pacifista, like anything else uh, said during this whole scene or anything. Cube. Yeah. The thing, the thing that's very interesting about those pacifistas is, because we do know that it's humans that they take to remodel them, is that where do they get those bodies? I would like like this to be addressed. You know, it's very interesting, because I do mm. think that if if uh, if. Uh, if let's say it goes to connection, if that king operation of a Lunarian and Kuma was a type soldier, he's from a special race. So we're not saying from the same race, but maybe people with special race have a specific blood or specific stuff that makes them conditioned to be more, you know, be models. Wouldn't they need the same thing for the for the ones who they make into pacifistas? So the, I, I have a lot of questions as where do they get the the bodies, you know, the test subjects? I don't know. That's one thing. I'm... I mean, are they? Made from people, or are they like complete, like, ant, like, are they like completely robotic? You know, like, I don't know. Apparently, there's a base of human, they put a lot of robotics, but it's basically that it's a there's a dead body, it's basically a human body at first. It's like this, the, the skull of it because they need it for their organic aspect, yeah. That's but you would need, especially with that many, that like the, the amount of pacifistas that we've seen, bro, you need a lot of bodies and and. And you know, yeah, Kuma's exactly. a big guy, so you need some big bodies, you know. Exactly. You need some big Where bodies. Where do they get it from? 